Lane, thanks for joining me. 20 years as a firefighter here in Regina and now the, the fire chief. Uh, what's that mean to you? Well, it's, uh, I'm really honored um, to take on this responsibility for the city of Regina and uh, have the utmost respect for our firefighters and all the staff that make up Regina Fire and Protective Services. What's one challenge that's facing your department that maybe you want to take on right away? Okay, well, you know what, We're, we have some, uh, some priorities that I'm thinking about are uh, um, those 329 uh, employees that uh, fall with underneath. Um, and the other one is the community itself. So um, two important things to me um, and some common focus points with each of them. So I want to make sure that they're safe so those, all those employees that are responding, working in the community are safe. The community is also safe, um, too big, a big focus point for me. Um, and make sure that they're protected and supported, both the community and our employees. So, um, that's, those are important. What are some things that, uh, you know, just preventative things, that messaging that you want to get out to the community? There's a lot, you know, new Canadians in Regina, there's, you know, the city's growing, and there's new neighborhoods. Uh, what are some of the messages you'd like to share with people in that community? Well, of course, the key fire safety messages. So the best way to fight a fire is to prevent it. So those prevention uh, measures, the common ones, you know, the leading cause of fire in our city is cooking. So we can't say enough about safe cooking practices, uh, making sure to attend your cooking when you're cooking. Um, that is, you know, all those safety messages. Smoking also is, a, is another uh, cause of fires. So making sure that you're careful with your smoking materials and discarded smoking materials, et cetera. Um, we have a big presence, uh, public education within the community. It's a program of ours and, you know, I want to increase and enhance that program. Um, and we're in the schools, we're teaching children, we're trying to change behaviors for the next generations too that are going to take over leading this community. A lot of little kids grow up, they say, you know, I want to be a firefighter. Was that your dream as a youngster? You know, when I came into it more, I, I always did as a youngster and I really started to be more serious about it as a teenager. So, um, yeah, it really is um, something that calls to you and uh, you have a lot of passion about doing. What I bring to the job is uh, some well-balanced uh, knowledge, skills and experience. Um, I've been fortunate through my career to uh, move through different areas in the fire service from inspections, investigations, training. Um, one thing I enjoyed was the public education uh, doing that. So I've got a good understanding of um, the different systems, the different roles uh, within the fire service. Um, being in and around Regina all my life, I definitely uh, know the community and uh, working, uh, you know, for as long as I have with Regina Fire. Um, I understand all the systems and the processes that are in place in Regina Fire. Lane, thanks for your time. Thank you.